It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. behind the camera we're with Denworks and we buy sell and consign cars we're here with Stanley and I wish we could video what happens because he does not get up until the car starts and he knows that he's supposed to walk in front of the car to bring it in so he waits until he hears he's not gonna waste one ounce of his energy for sure um, so we have something really, really cool today. This 1983 Ford F-250 XL 4x4 four four-speed truck. And I am really excited to tell you about it. Um, this is just a fantastic find and I love everything about it. So um, again, we're with Denworks if you want to tell them what we do. Yeah, we're with I'm Jason, by the way, and we buy, sell really cool rigs. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, if you want to check us out on our website, it's Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. And you can check us out there. And we have uh, Instagram. You can check us out on Instagram. Anytime that you want to know, like, hey, what's coming up next? Or what did you guys just find? What's your adventures? This stuff you can go to denworks underscore vintage underscore cars or just hashtag denworks somewhere and you'll find us on there just like this truck when we first got it everyone was like oh my god look at that thing so so cool and and then we also have a we also have a podcast it's called no reserve and you can find it anywhere and we talk about our cars our business our life out here on 10 acres and um, we have some donkeys and a few cats and Stanley and kids and so you can tune into that and then um, I'll talk a little bit later about the story of when I went to go get this truck because I have some personal pride in picking this one up that was a great day for me so anyway so this this truck really really cool love the bull nose anyway and it is desert tan and light desert tan and so it's got the deluxe two-tone paint per the marty report and some really cool features about it. this thing is all original paint except for the roof i showed pictures of that in the auction and we'll um take a look at that as we do the walk around so i can show you the condition but uh there is a lot to love about this thing so we're gonna do a full walk around and show you everything we know about it so we'll just start at the front and i guess i'll let you come in front of me here we'll start at the front and it is in really good shape there are some paint flaws um, that you'll see when you get up close they're not super apparent because of the tan colors I think it kind of um, from far away it's harder to see it so that's why we like to do the video so you can see things up close and personal um, so you can see just looking at the at the front of the truck the lights are in good shape the grill is in great shape. The bumper's in great shape. And then you can see some of the paint where, I don't know what you call that, wear. Yeah, just little, little tiny little rock chips and different Over the years, things, yeah. things like that. So you can see that on the front, but the, the bumper's nice and shiny. I love the bull nose truck anyway. And I feel like they're um, a rare sight to see one in such nice condition. And this one, was used uh, primarily, and here's some more rock chips on the hood that you can see he's showing you at the camera. This one was primarily used for a recreation vehicle. The it, original owner until late 90s, early 2000s from what I understand. Then the next owners bought it. They used it as kind of a recreation rig as well and then sold it to their daughter and that's who we bought it from. And so they've taken great care of it over the years. And I mean, it just shows in the condition. It's pretty straight down the side. 
and then we'll get up close and personal. Might not paint, point out every paint flaw, but we'll try to get up close and personal on the ones that we can see. And then um, wheels and tires on this thing. It's got the Bighorn Maxis and their LT23585 R16. Date code is 2008 and those match all the way around. And then it's got the locking hubs you can see. And the tires are looking pretty good condition. <clears throat> this mirror, it has the original mirrors. The gentleman who owned it previously did chop this mirror down so he could fit it in his garage. So you can see that it's close to the truck. Um, it's closer than it is on the other side. So you'll see that when we, when we go down. I. It is what it is. Um, I mean, you can pop it out a little bit. I don't think it's readily apparent. There you go. Swing out mirror. <laughs> Ready for a camping trip. <laughs> Live demonstration right here. And then there's a paint chip right here. You gotta adjust that mirror now. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> One handed while I just let him do it. There we go. They're tucking it in. <laughs> okay, so paint chips here. There's some some wear on the back of this door. And then these hooks were on it and we just left them on. We didn't want to mess around with them. So um, you could take those off if you want to. But the rockers look in really good shape. There's no rust down the side, nothing like that. Um, it does have dual gas tanks. And those look good. There's some paint wear here. There's a little ding here. But overall, just a really solid truck. And these colors are really neat. I, I love them. And then coming around the back, it's in nice shape too. Bumper's in awesome shape tailgate's in good shape too. You can see, um, you know, some paint chipping and wear around the letters over the years. And then, did you get the bumper already? And then in the back of the bed, in the back of the bed, we put this bed mat down. It's pretty, it's, it's okay condition under here. It's just that the, it's, uh, I did put pictures in the gallery of what this looks like all the way underneath, but I mean, you can see that it does have some dents and some wear from time. So it's not too terrible under there. And again, you can see, excuse me, you can see full pictures of that in the photo gallery as well. And then coming around this side, really similar, nice and straight along this side. Got the chrome exhaust tip on it. The paint's in great shape. The tires are in good shape. I love that this thing is in original paint. That's always, that's kind of one of our favorite things to do. Um, and then I do want to point out here, I didn't do this. We actually need to get the camera on the other side to show. There's a couple of dents here. And then you can see right here, there's some dents. And then on the other side, there's a couple of little dings too. I'll have Jason show you. I forgot to mention it when I was over there. Don't know what happened when we bought this. It had a camper shell on it. And when we took the camper shell off, we saw that was there. So I don't know if at some point something hit it or what happened. And he's just going around to show you these other dings that I forgot to mention on the other side. And then the top of the cab, he's showing you, this is the part that's not original paint. So the previous owners told me that they painted it. It wasn't in great shape. And so when they did it, they used a flat color. And so it's not bright and shiny like the rest of the truck color matches okay um but that is something that you'll also see in the photo gallery as well but otherwise all original nice and shiny 
And then on this side, same thing, no rust. Rockers look good. You can see the paint's worn off right here. This mirror is in great shape. So you can see the difference. The other one tucks right up to the truck because of how they chopped it. So this is about the distance that they chopped to put it in their garage. And the funny thing was the gentleman told me that he chopped it to put it in his garage and then he never really parked it in the garage. So that goes figure. <laughs> go figure. We've all done that where it's like, that is a great idea. And then later, oh, maybe that wasn't a great idea. So all in all, really nice truck. Love this color combo and love the bull nose. So I'm going to have Jason hop in it really quick so we can show you the lights. It's not very often she lets me in a car. Nope. You're not driving anywhere. Just the lights. Only, only turn on the accessory. <laughs> when are you going to tell him what his name is? Oh, yeah. I forgot. This truck's name is Leroy, as in bad, bad Leroy Brown. I mean, I couldn't think of a more appropriate name for this guy. So, all right, Leroy, fire it up. Markers, headlights brights there we go and blinkers there's right and left or left and right these cameras it's i guess i should just say driver passenger and then i'll come around the back and actually i will have you start it up okay. in a minute but don't leave <laughs> in it you're just on the driveway all right and then tail lights there we go and blinkers oh brake lights we got blinker blinker and then reverse lights there we go and the license plate light is working there you go so go ahead and start it up so they can hear it interior of Leroy really really nice as you can see in the photos um, the previous owners did tell us that they redid the seat and this is factory correct material it's in great shape really comfortable to sit in and um, just goes nice with the the tan colors in it and so that looks really good and then um, let's take a look behind the seat Behind the seat is in nice shape. You can see the, the mat wasn't cut exactly, so that's cut down a little bit. And then I did want to point out too, up here, there's some chipping off on both sides of the material, or of the, I don't know what you would call that, just of the interior, of panels. The interior panels up here on top. And then, um, but otherwise, in great shape and then let's take a look at the instrument cluster uh super super nice shape and i love the wood grain in here jason and i were discussing how this is an xl and it's kind of surprising that there was wood trim it's almost like was there a difference of um you know what an xl meant through the years but i love the wood grain and all of the instruments look really really good glove box looks good there is a remote that goes with the stereo too. So that's in the glove box, but that's in really nice shape. Even has the truck jacking instructions um, sticker. And then aftermarket stereo, here's your heating and AC units. And then this is your ashtray. Just pull down on the front. Oh, pull down. I was yeah. thinking pull out. And then fuel keys. And then speaking of keys, while I'm right here, on the set of keys, there's a number of keys, but it has these little original tags from when it was new. Um, 
that went with the truck. So we'll include that with the sale as well because we like as much original stuff as possible. Um, dash cap is one of those, those replacement dash covers that's on it. And so that's been put on at some point. It's in great shape, looks really good. Um, the door itself is in great shape. You'll see on both sides, it looks like at some point they painted the door interior panels and you can see on the driver one that it's chipped off just a little bit in a couple places. I put photos of that in the photo gallery. Um, he's showing you the VIN, but the doors themselves are in great shape, nice and clean. And again, you can see no rust, no nothing. We're fighting some little rain <laughs> showers here. So that's a little tough, but looks really good on the door. And then inside up front, the, the pedals look really good. They're in great shape. This mat looks fairly new. I don't know the age of it, the spinny, but the mat itself, nice and clean. And then it has this aftermarket trailer brake underneath too. So that's There's your special horn. And the switch next to it is a mystery toggle. We don't know what that is. And then your shifters and your shift boots look in great shape in here. I mean, this thing is just so darn clean. So maybe let's switch and then Jason can show you the passenger side. We're always trying to, and that door looks really, really good. And you'll see on that one too, where the door panel has been repainted at some point. Um, and you can still see the grain through it but you can tell that it's a little tired. Color-wise, it looks great. It's just you can tell that it was painted over. And then the floor on this side, real nice condition again. No surprises there. Um, the door jams look good, all of that. And then when he's done showing you that, let's take a look at the headliner. Yeah, you can see the doors are just in great, great shape. And then headliner, your light works. It's a little, got a little staining right here. On a headliner, that's always tricky because if you start cleaning it, you might get in trouble. <laughs> so sometimes it's easier just to leave it. So a little stain there and the visors are in awesome shape. Again, I love that there's so many of the original. This is the four wheel drive shift procedure, which for someone like me who can't always remember exactly how to do it because I don't do it very often, that's a nice add and it was original with the truck. Um, otherwise, I mean, I think that's everything for inside and thanks for checking it out. This is just, this is an amazing truck inside. I mean, to me, it the instrument cluster and a lot of these touches, they're, they look almost new, the wood grain and everything. So. I'm excited about this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, thanks for cruising around with us. We hopped in the bull nose just in time before the rain came. Uh, and glad we did. And I love driving these trucks. You know when you are shifting into a gear because they, they just click into place. So you can see that the wipers work. Um, this truck drives amazing. I've driven it around quite a bit, actually, and so, actually, you did get to drive this one. I did. Yeah. He took it unauthorized one evening I was gone and decided to take it out for a ride, and he was glad he did. Um, so, all the gauges work in here, and a couple of the neat things it has, too, it's got the tack. Um, you can see the fuel gauge, and I believe it works for both tanks. Um, and then it's got the oil pressure and the ammeter gauges, which by the way, oil pressure is awesome in this thing. And then your lights and your window washers. Your, it has the regular horn up here. And then it has your special horn down here. So that's kind of fun. And then, I mean, overall just drives super, super well and fun to take a manual out for a spin. So I'm gonna drop Jason off and then we'll go do some driving and we can um, show you what it looks like going down the road.
take a look under the hood. So inside there is a lever and then there's a push lever underneath the hood. And I do like it because I've noticed the cords are all different, but mostly they're on the left hand side. I'm a lefty living in a right hand world. So Ford <laughs> got it right. <laughs> so under the hood looks really good in here. It has the 350 motor in it. Um, fairly original looking. And like we showed you on the inside of the truck, most everything looks in pretty good working order. So you can see the motor in here. You can see that um, the AC unit is in here, but it is inoperable. There's no belt hooked up to it. So that does not work, but the unit is in there. And um, you can, Jason's showing you the sticker on the valve cover and master is in good shape. Um, the fancy horns. We, we thought about whether we should leave those or not, but they're just fun. So we left those in there. If you didn't like them, you can easily remove those. Stanley really likes them. Yes. Yes. It's definitely his style. And then you have over here the jack, which is kind of a nice touch. It's on the other side than the 70s sports. It's a lefty. Again, got to love this truck because of that. Um, but everything looks nice and clean. The one thing I will say, and you can see it in the pictures underneath, there is a little bit of oil. There's oil residue on the oil pan and then on the transmission. And so it doesn't leak on the ground or anything like that when you drive it. Um, but there is some residue uh, just from age and use. But it's nothing that we were concerned about. So, But just wanted to extra point that out. So um, I'll have you hop in it if you want to and fire it up. So we can hear it run. But this is just a nice, nice truck. This is going to be a fantastic driver for somebody. <gasps> Starts right up. Sounds really, really good. You gotta love the three. Think I can get a ride? <laughs> yes. Folks, this is true love right here. <laughs> Left him standing out <laughs> in the pouring rain while I've been inside the warp truck driving around. <laughs> and so I gotta give you a ride. I have to tell you, Leroy is nice and warm. <laughs> and dry as well. <laughs>